Hi guys, um, first of all, let me just apologise, this is my Geostorm review. Yes, I know it's late. I have been extremely busy, guys. Um, and due to this, me being busy, I was unfortunately unable to review um, Victoria and Albert. So those who requested that, I'm extremely sorry. Um, I will uh, hopefully review that in time. <clears throat> um... We've also, um, uh, we've also, I've also been as unable to record these reviews for a friend of mine called Paul. Um, when I get time to make, I promise you I will put these reviews up. Oh, and there's some other news for you on my channel. We, my group and my mates, also Josh Foster, who's owns the channel, we've just done an amazing Halloween walk. And this is now on Facebook, Rotherham College Arts and Technology, and it will be uploaded by Kyle very soon. I will keep your dates on that. Um, those of you who want to watch it, please go on Facebook. Um, it's a brilliant walk, so good, uh, and we put some lot of effort into it. Really, we really did. So, Geostorm. So now I'm, I'm getting. Most people are getting some hate on this. Um, there's a lot of people saying that it's not good enough. They're not special effects. There's that it could have been better. I cannot fault it. I think, you know, it's a decent disaster movie. And I'm a sucker for a decent disaster movie. I loved mm. Day After Tomorrow. Um, I loved uh, 2012. Uh, I wasn't such a fan of Doomsday. I thought it was rubbish. Um, I also, what else did I like? I'm trying to think now. Oh, uh, there's a classic one called Impact. And that's like, and um, there's also the Day After the World, the Day After the uh, World... What is it? Tomorrow World Ends? Oh, crud, one minute. Day After Tomorrow. That's it. Sorry. Um, and they're really good movies as well. Also, or, also that there's another one as well called Unknown. That's a really, that's a really good one as well. Anyway, so, you know, anyone is getting some hate on this one. And I'm thinking, you know, it's not actually that bad. It's a decent, decent film. Um... <clears throat> So, so, Geostorm. So, Geostorm tells the, tells the story. Now, the uh, world has had these serious, globalised disasters on a global scale. Uh, a Geostorm, they called it. And it infected, it impacted the world, impacted the world and everything. So, Jake and his brother, Max, were two partners. And Jake is the creator of this huge, massive satellite called the echo boy and it's basically it's a massive satellite that controls the disasters that go off and when um jake i have to say this because it's in the film after jake as is let go by the system <clears throat> after jake is let go means fired um if the, the if the satellite is owned by max basically his brother takes over it's played by jim sturge who's a fantastic actor um, I'd never seen anything before, so I was really impressed with actually how it was as well. It's pretty good, actually. It was really, really good. So we're basically, um, the, what happens is there is, in a nutshell, there's a massive disaster. Something is going on with Echo Boy. Someone has tampered. There's a there's a tamper with with, with the satellite, and apparently, according to um, regulation, something's going wrong. Now they think it's a disaster, a malfunction but they don't know what's happened. And they've got exactly 24 hours to figure out the mystery of Echo Boy, solve the satellite before a geostorm occurs and destroys the world. And it does not get any more realistic than this. I mean, seriously, it's really, really good. I mean, there is so much content in this that is beautifully done. First of all, Gerald Butler plays a fantastic role as Jake. Now, what I liked about his character is Jake's kind of like a traditional lad. And he basically feels like he's been let down by his company. There's a lot of anger in him, a personal hate towards his brother. Don't know why, but can't tell you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's a lot of um, chemistry with him and Jim Sturgis. They have a fantastic, beautiful moments in the, in the film that you kind of see. The effects are incredible. It does not get any worse than this. Literally, when I was watching it, I was like, oh my God. When I was watching it, there was it was incredible. The, the way they did it, it was so clever. It was so realistic. And the way that it was all shown and sequenced, it was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. 
Um, the cinematography is, is incredible, how the scenes are layered, and you see the beauty of the CGI, and it's beautifully done. Um, and the action's great as well, especially when there's some different situations. Oh, and the reveal. Oh, the twist. Oh, it's genius. It's brilliant. You don't see it coming. Can't spoil it, but it's genius. Absolutely pure genius. You've also got Andy Garcia, who plays the President of the United States. Um, I liked him in this because he's, uh, he's got this leadership with him. He's a good actor, actually. I didn't see much of him in it, but, you know, he was all right. He wasn't bad. Uh, and you've got Abby Connors, who plays Sarah. Now, Sarah is a Secret Service person, officer, who is who's protecting the President. And she's involved in this disaster as well. How she's connected, I can't tell you because that's in the film. So overall, Geostorm is fun, gripping, fast-paced, brilliant, scary, edgy see, gripping, spine-chilling. It's realistic as hell. The things you see in this, the detail is beautiful. I'm a sucker for disaster films and this one is just as good as the death of tomorrow. And it's so well done. The director is incredible. I mean, this is the first time um, I've seen him do this film. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the director's name below because I can't remember his name. But all all around, guys, this is a absolutely brilliant disaster film. And my mum really wants to watch this because she's a massive fan of Gerard Butler. So for all those reasons, I'm going to give Geostorm five stars. So, did you guys enjoy Geostorm? Are you a fan of disaster films? Let me know. Please leave a message below this video if you have any questions, comments. If you know any disaster films you want me to review or any other comments, other reviews you don't want it because it's coming up to Christmas. I am accepting Christmas reviews now. Uh, so that's really good. Um, uh, if you do like this video, please click the thumbs up button just below this video. If you also like this video, please leave a comment below for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I will be sharing this on Snapchat. Thanks ever much for watching, guys. Have a great week at school, college, or work. And I will see you on Thursday, where Jane's Box will be, will be joining me for my review on Murder on the Orient Express.